Hi, today I'm going to be talking about something very interesting. Certainly many of you who are cassette enthusiasts or cassette collectors are probably familiar with this story. I'm going to be talking about a label that was based in Saudi Arabia called 747. Now the 747 label was known for releasing bootleg versions of Western releases. Now the interesting thing about 747, usually the cassette artwork would be very different from the original artwork. The track listing would sometimes be in a completely different order and the sound quality varied a lot on these cassettes. Some people claim that some of the cassettes were very good quality sound wise and some of them were very poor quality. Now today in this video I'm going to be sharing with you two cassettes from my collection that were put out by the 747 label. We have the Leo Sayre cassette Thunder in My Heart and the Carly Simon cassette Torch. Now something else very interesting that 747 used to do, they would often label their cassettes either pop or new wave or something like that. As you can see here on the cover it says 747 pop and also for the Carly Simon one it says 747 pop and again some of them would say 747 new wave. So let's take a look inside and see what these cassettes look like. First I'll take a look at the Leo Sayer cassette and we see on the back there there's a foil sticker quality 747 variety and we see the track listing there on the back. Now I open it up and this Leo Sayer cassette has a sticker label attached to it. Now I've never seen the official release of this album on cassette so I don't know how it would vary from the 747 version. We have this sort of blue label with an airplane graphic on it. Uh, the catalog number 2155 and it states that it's in stereo. And looking at the J card, let's see. So inside we have the track listing there. Not sure why it breaks down breaks it down to A, B, C, D. That's kind of odd. And inside there are no graphics, no text, nothing. So pretty plain looking. So that's basically the inside of the Leo Sayer cassette. Now let's take a look at the Carly Simon cassette. And again, we see that little foil sticker that says quality 747 variety. And we see this very sort of plain white cassette. We actually have the track listing on the cassette itself. And we see it again on side B. Again, the 747 label, stereo. Now let's take a look inside the Carly Simon J card. And again, it looks pretty straightforward, pretty plain. No graphics inside the J card. Uh, it does mention all other Carly Simon releases on 747 music tapes. And we see the list there along with the catalog number, Boys in the Trees, Spy, and Come Upstairs. So that's Torch by Carly Simon. Now there are many enthusiasts out there who collect these cassettes and are always looking for them. I've seen them sell on various websites such as eBay or Discogs at uh, very inflated prices. Uh, I find that usually they sell for at least 10 to $20 US, if not more. Now I was very lucky. I found both of these cassettes in a secondhand store in my city. And I think I only paid maybe a dollar each for these cassettes. Now again, from what I've been told, the quality of these cassettes varied wildly. Some of them were very good quality and some of them didn't sound good at all. I have a feeling that maybe many of these might have been dubbed uh, at home on someone's stereo system, but I'm not quite sure about that. These two cassettes that I have, the sound quality is pretty decent. Uh, I wouldn't say it's comparable to the official releases, but I would say it's, it's pretty good. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it a solid 7. So that's my little view of 747 cassettes. If you have any of these cassettes or if you collect them, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Please let me know what 747 cassettes you have. If there's one in particular that you've been looking for, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. 
Thank you for watching. Hope you can join us again next time. And please, as always, please subscribe to the channel. I post new tech related reviews every week. And the best way to stay on top of all the latest reviews is to subscribe. Leave a comment. Give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.